What's up, my beautiful people? All right, I've got a few projects I'm doing for the farmland, helping the homeowner. But I wanted to do something for myself. So, and this is something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And this video is gonna be from the start to finish. I think personally it's gonna be worth it, but let me show you what I've started doing so far. So what we have here is we have three pieces of poster board that I taped together. And I drew the skull on that poster board and I cut it out with scissors. This poster board is roughly two and a half by three foot I don't know the exact measurements yet, but here's my foot. So that's how big that is. So once I drew out the skull and I cut the skull out, I then took the skull and I put it on the pallet wood and I traced the skull with a Sharpie. on the pallet wood. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the pallet wood outside on the patio that I'm building and I'm cutting this out with a jigsaw. So I took that, traced it out on this. And I will see you at the next step. So I started the next step, which was cutting out my skull. And the wood that I am using is old and brittle. So my smaller, intricate, detailed cuts, they're breaking off. So I am going to run down the road. Alright, I got three new pallets and now I'm breaking them down. Instead of using a hammer and pulling them apart, I am using a sawzall. I am cutting the pallet slats apart from the pallet, cutting through the nails. That's the easiest, fastest way that I've found and not only that, it helps to keep the pallet slats intact. Less damage on the pallets. Anyways, I'm going to do this, tear them apart, and then I will see you in a bit.
here's a new pallet wood with my template traced out on the wood. Now, let's begin the cutting step with the jigsaw. All right, cutting the skull out step is done. It would have been faster if I had a scroll saw or if I had a band saw, but I had a jigsaw. The jigsaw worked. It still didn't take me that long to do it, but let me show you what I've got. All right, here is the skull. All cut out. Looking pretty, pretty, pretty. This is the skill saw I used to cut it. Cheap master mechanic from down the road. That's the brand name. But he did his job. So that is the skull. Alright, that step is done. The next step is to build the actual chair. But I got to get a measurement of my skull and see how wide I need to build the chair. And I will see you guys during that process. So as I was building the chair frame and fitting the skull so it sits properly, this piece broke off. So right here, let me see. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But once I figure it out, I will continue this video because this is a build that I want to do. I'm either going to do it with the pallet wood or go spend money and buy some more wood. But this is a build that I want to do. I'm going to do it. I'm just not sure if I want to continue with the pallet wood. When I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. So I thought about it. And I cut the piece that was sticking off. Went ahead where it broke off. Trimmed it down. And had the other side to match. So I'm still going to use the skull. I just think it looks pretty. Anyway, I am in the process of building the seat part now. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, now I'm going to actually start building the seat part. So I took another pallet apart. These are the planks off that pallet. And what I want to do, as you see, I put glue on one board and we'll glue two of these together and this is going to be what's going to hold the whole chair together these two boards right here and I'm gluing the, the two together just so I have more strength in the actual legs or the support of the uh, the chair now that I've got one board glued together I'm gonna run some screws to help hold it down to help keep them together so when the glue dries they're going to be one piece
perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other board. By now you're probably asking yourself, why am I gluing boards together? Why am I using pallet wood? Well, pallets are free. You drive down the road, you see pallets on the side of the road. People giving them away for free. Businesses giving them away from free. There is a a farmer's exchange maybe five miles from here that sells pallets for $1.50 each. So it's cheap wood. Cheap, it's free. Some of it's free wood. So if you want to build planter boxes, if you want to build outdoor furniture, regardless of what you want to build, it's free. You just have to use your imagination and build you something. So that's why I'm using the free pallet wood and that's why I am gluing stuff together. So I'm going to build me a skull chair out of free wood. Alright, so far this is what I have for the seat part of the chair that I'm building. I don't have measurements or plans. But this is it so far. All the measurements I'm doing, I am guessing on angles, but I'm using these two chairs here for length and width. But I'm also basing that off of the skull that I built. So, so far, this is the seat part of the Adirondack skull chair. So this is what I've got so far. I've got a lot of tweaks to go. So it's perfect. But this is it so far. The skull is not attached. Anyway, see you on the next update. All right. The skull chair is done. So let's look what I did. That is the skull chair. Alright, so this is the back of the chair. Here's the side of the chair. There's the other side. And here's a top view of it. And once again, let's take a look at the back. Alright guys, that was my Adirondack skull chair. All I've got left now to do is to sand it, smooth the edges, get rid of any splinters, any sharp edges, and it's done. I'm, 
I'm going to let the person I give it to decide whether they want to paint it or not. It is made out of pallet wood. The pallet wood is treated. So if they decide not to paint it, that's okay. It'll last for a very long time. Guys, that's my video. Like I've said before, I'm not good at how-tos, but I wanted to walk you through some of the steps, some of the frustrations of building this skull chair. Maybe, hopefully the next build video I do, I'll be better at it and show more detail of the build. But, that's it. That's my skull chair, guys. Hit that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And until my next video, peace.